I wish humans could be more like dogs. If you think about it, all a dog really needs is a little love and happiness. Hey, y'all. What's going on? Welcome back to Wine, Whiskey, and Tail Wax. For this episode, we'll be getting into grooming. All the little deets and neat to knows about grooming, whether you have a cat or a dog. All right, let's just get started. Um, I'll start off by saying it's um, extremely important to get your dog on a regular grooming schedule. Um, we already talked about the earlier, the better. Um, you should start grooming at about eight weeks, what, 10 to 12? 10, uh, you want to start between 10 to 16 weeks. Okay, okay. What I know some grooms start earlier, though. They, You know, when we got... My brother, Dog Sky, she was what? Most breeders do that first cut. Yeah, breeders will start even earlier. They'll start at six weeks, eight weeks, and that's just mainly to get them sold. Because mm. once, as a breeder, you know, if somebody would, wants a schnauzer like what they have, you know, schnauzer doesn't fully look like a schnauzer until they have their full cut. So a lot of times they like to do the first gro- do that groom. Some people say that's too early to start at six weeks and eight weeks for an actual haircut. But it's just kind of based on preference. And then, once again, usually that's breeders. For groomers, like when you go to a salon and stuff, usually the first, when they depending on where you go, they might do puppy groom. When they do puppy grooms, it's just getting them started. So they might not cut too much hair. They might just clean the eyes or clean the feet. Give them a good bath, use the blow dryer to kind of get them acclimated into it. But yeah, the earlier the better. You can always start with baths at any time. It's still like he's looking at it. <laughs> You'll see it right in front of it, too. Well, yeah, you can, of course, grooming, which is the haircut included, um, 10 to 12, 10 to 16 weeks to get started, depending on how early you get your puppy. Um, baths, you can start baths. At early, like you can start that at eight weeks, especially depending on what kind of lifestyle they have or what kind of breeding situation they came from. How often should you get your? Well, I think that depends on the breed of dog. Like, um, like if it's a short haired dog, like a pit bull or your labs, short short haired labs, I would say probably once a month. Um, you can do, yeah, you know, I would say once a month for a good bath. Um, but your long haired dogs. I would say you need to get them groomed at least once a month as well, like your doodles or your poodles or, you know, even your Yorkies or your Maltese. You should, you want to get them groomed at least once a month or, you know, every, I say scratch it out to every six weeks. You don't want to go any longer because that's when the dog hair tends to mat up and you have a lot of other issues. So it's very, very important to get your dog on a regular grooming schedule. It helps the dog get more comfortable with the process and also helps um, the groomer, you know, just interacting one-on-one with the dog um just like your barber you want to or your hairdresser you want to go to the same hairdresser on the schedule so you know the whole process become easier so same thing with dogs and you can also learn how to groom your own pet at home if you want to if you want to save that save money i taught myself off youtube how to groom i watched the video and the video said you can do this and i took it serious and i've been grooming for seven years now and i taught myself from youtube yeah, because you want to start with the basics because, say, if you don't have the money to go to a groomer and have them on a regular schedule, you can learn some of those things at home. Yeah, especially nail clipping. Nail clipping, brushing, combing. Brushing teeth. Cleaning the eyes or cleaning the sanitary areas, which are those important areas that you typically want to keep clean. Cleaning the ears. Mm-hmm, cleaning the ears. You want to play with their feet. Like, if you're starting with puppies or even kittens, you want to start getting them used to so every day you can always play with their feet just kind of massage their feet or kind of touch it and stuff like that just to get them used to people managing their feet so when it comes to nail trims they're able to manage and sit through a nail trim without fighting or biting or wiggling too much or getting over anxious same thing with combing and brushing you want to make sure you comb and brush start that early so they get used to it because if you wait till six months old to start combing and brushing they're not going to want to do that they're not going to sit for that not at all you can train them at that point to get more comfortable but it's kind of in them to like "Mm, i don't want to right right you you, i'm sorry you want to brush and comb 
two to three times a week, depending on the breed of dog that you have. You know, you want to get, I mean, really it's getting the dog used to getting breast and comb. So when you go to the groomer, they'll know, you know, they'll know what they're doing. But you want to do that at home anyway. Mm-hmm. At least brush your dog two to three times, at least two to three times a week. You know, the more the better. Mm-hmm. And of course, all depending on breeds and stuff like that. Um, another thing um, with and to help your dog get better with the force dryer at the groomer, use a hair dryer at home. You know, blow it on them. Don't intentionally blow it in their face, but, you know, get them used to, you know, air being blown on them. So when they go to the groom, they won't try to bite the force dryer or run away or poop and pee on the table. They get over anxious. Yeah. So if you can, a lot of this can be taught at home before they go to the groomer. For coats, you don't want to shave. What what particular coats? Mm-hmm. Short hair dogs. Um, that's that what you meant? Yeah, different coats. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I, um. In your opinion, I'm against shaving short hair dogs. Meaning English bulldogs, French bulldog, pit bulls, short hair chihuahuas, uh, Frenchies. Um, believe it or not, people have asked me to shave their dog because the dog is too hot, or the dog keeps um panting, or the dog shedding all over the ho- house. All dogs shed. Regardless, short haired or long haired. Just like humans. They all shed. And dogs need their coat to regulate the, regulate their body temperature. Meaning if it's cold outside, the coat keeps them warm warm. And if it's hot outside, the coat actually cools them down like it's supposed to. So cutting that off, they can't regulate their their body temperature. They can they're more prone to skin burns, stuff like that. Sunburn. You get sunburns and stuff like that. So I'm completely against shaving short haired dogs. No. I, I don't even shave Huskies, I don't shave. German Shepherds, I don't know. I will give them a good de-shedding bath treatment, and it's pretty much de-shedding shampoo that gets their undercoat out, and that's all they need. A good bath, a good brushing, a good de-shedding treatment, and they're good to go. You don't have to shave your dog because he's panting. That's what dogs do. Dogs don't sweat. So in order to... Only on their paw pads. They sweat on their paw pads? See, I didn't know that. That's the only places they have sweat glands. Is their paw pads. Mm, so they can get w- moist? Usually they don't because the paw pads, they cool because they're on the ground. So say you're inside somewhere walking in a store, usually the, the floor of the store is cool. So it doesn't necessarily set up the sweat. But that kind of goes into their coats of how basically their coats metabolize the weather in a sense. So for certain breeds... Um, when it's hot outside, once they lose that undercoat, it traps the cool air in. So the top layer just kind of holds the cool air, almost like conditioning, air conditioning. And then for winter months, that double coat comes in and it holds in the heat. So it works as a, uh, a heater for them. So their coats are very important. That's kind of why they have fur. It works for them. And like going into a lot of the dogs, prefer not to shave your huskies your german shepherds honestly um pomeranians and chows if you shave them once most of the time the hair doesn't grow back correctly yes it damages the top coat same thing with goldens retrievers now you can trim them give them a good trim shorten it but i wouldn't shave it yeah so i have a list of the um, not all of them but you got your german shepherds your pomeranians chow chows border collies Newfoundlands, um, you're going to retrieve or something like that. Kind of getting into why some of these you don't want to shave. Like you said, skin burn, skin issues, razor burns. As sometimes it causes them to start excessive licking or scratching because they're not used to that hair being gone. So now it's itchy. On top of that, shaving the dog's hair down low does not stop them from shedding. You just have little bitty pieces of hair all over the floor. Yeah, now you just have shorter hairs yeah. that's shedding. Yeah, the dog's going to shed regardless. Because any, regardless, when you shave, you're shaving mainly that top layer of coat, which is the most, which is one of the t- um, important ones. So you're, when you do cut that top layer of coat, it damages the hair cycle, which can, for, depending on the dog and their genes and stuff, can take up to two years to f- come back to full growth or a dog just might develop alopecia which i've seen a lot of pomeranians with alopecia um a lot of pekingese alopecia yes they both have long hair but you mainly want to work just 
bath, de-shedding, and of course, occasionally light trimming here and there, depending on how the hair grows. Now, I mean, if the hair is dragging the ground, then yeah, I would trim it. I would exactly. shave it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to clarify what they were thinking. The exceptions to shaving the some of those dogs, if they're excess, if they're swimming, big time swimmers, you might shave them down so that they can swim better. Their coat is matted because you're not able to brush it as much as you would like to or not able to get it combed out. So it gets matted, of course, especially the dead hairs are not able to release like you want them to. And then health reason why it could be a reason why you shave a dog too old. So you're get sometimes they get older and grumpy and they don't want to be manhandled with combing and brushing. So it might be easier to shave or if they already develop alopecia later in life you might shave it just to kind of keep it all even and everything um sometimes allergies like if a dog is prone to allergies you might shave them down just so you can pinpoint and see the skin better or for reasons like fleas you your pet had a bad or new pet that you got was badly infested with fleas where there's nests and stuff like that you might shave them down just to kind of start over those are the few exceptions to shaving huskies those chows and pit bulls although most of the time pit bulls you can see their skin without shaving them to me most of the time people that shave pit bulls is mainly just because they want them to stop shedding which that does not stop getting into the two other types of coats that you do shave and how to maintain those coats your silky coats um pets like your yorkies Mm -hmm. maltese Mm -hmm. there's another havanese Mm -hmm. or another one those well, Harmony is more of a wavy, curly type, but your Yorkies, your Maltese, ones like that, or your silky coats who need haircuts frequently. Those ones, you definitely want to have them on a schedule at least four to six weeks apart, depending on how long you want to keep their hair, how much combing and brushing you do at home. If you're a person that don't comb or don't brush as often as you know you should, you might have them on a s- schedule closer together just to make sure to maintain the hair, depending on how you like it. Because if you're a person that do want your Yorkie to have the long, luscious hair, you might have to take it to a groomer more often. Or or you groom or you comb them and brush them on a regular at home. Exactly. If you want to keep your dog hair long, you have to help out with the groomer. In between grooms, you have to comb and brush your dog at home. And you want to comb it is more important than brushing because you can brush mats. You can't comb through mats. Mm-hmm. And you will wonder why your dog need to be shaved every time you take them because you don't comb or brush your dog in between visits. So it's extremely important to do your regular maintenance at home as well, not just throw it all on the groomer. Quick tip for bathing a short-haired dog. If you don't want that wet dog smell or... You know how when you get done bathing the dog, you say it's still, he still smells funky. Just a grooming tip. After you bathe your dog, you want to dry them immediately. Short hair, long hair, doesn't matter. After you bathe the dog, you dry them immediately. You don't let the dog run and, you know, you know how they rub their head on the carpet and, you know, be going against the towel. No, they, that would give them the wet dog smell. You want to dry them immediately and that'll take away that smell. You know, spray some, I mean, you don't even have to use cologne. The main thing is drying the dog immediately after the bath. Don't let him walk around soaking wet. And that, that'll get rid of that smell. So just kind of going over the basics when it comes to dog grooming. You starting at 10 to 6 weeks. 16 weeks, I'm sorry. Nail trims at least once a month. Your silky and wavy curly hair dogs. You want to get them groomed on a regular schedule, of course with your groomer to get the hair trimmed or if you learn to do it yourself you put them on a schedule that you can do as well and then for some of your double coated dogs like huskies german shepherds chows you wanna don't want to shave their hair unless absolutely need it but the main thing for them bath de-shedding treatment and that de-shedding treatments where the groomer or you at home will use a de-shedding shampoo kind of lather the skin the fur real well and then rinse it off it's a heads up de-shedding shampoo is made to release the excess hair so when you see more hair after de-shed treatment don't be alarmed that's because it's doing what it's supposed to do um good thing to do after you use a de-shedding treatment on your dog is to make sure after you they're dry and everything brush them out really well take time sit down and brush them out really well 
um, to kind of help with that, to help get some of those excess hears. Well, yeah, if you guys do ever have any questions, never hesitate to send us, leave a comment, send us a message. Um, we might feature your question in our, one of our videos. Absolutely. Or um, DM us on Instagram. Yes, yeah, so we do have Instagram. It's Wine, Whiskey, and Tail Wags on Instagram. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to email, it's the same thing, at gmail.com, Wine, Whiskey, and Tail Wags at gmail. Don't hesitate to communicate with us. We won't bite. Right. <laughs> I watch a guy on YouTube, and he say, talk to me, I'll talk back. Yeah, we, we'll talk back to you. And if you wonder what we're listening to, that's Motown. Motown finance right there. That's Motown. And another thing, comment on the setup. So we try to use a blue screen, a uh, blue screen. Look, that's the problem. See, we tried to use a green screen, but it wasn't big enough. So this is kind of the setup now. For now. We uh, need more decoration. But they may like it, though, is what I'm saying. It's too boring. I'm just saying. I mean, we was able to put the content out. We still gave value. So, but, yeah, just, you know, kind of help us out if you... You kind of like the green screen look, or would you rather like a real background just decorated? I mean, I don't know. It don't make me a difference. Mm -hmm. I guess that's it for this episode of Wine, Whiskey, and Tail Wags. I'll see you all later. See you later. I wish humans could be more like dogs. If you think about it, all a dog really needs is a little love and happiness. <laughs>